Bonjour mon ami, this is a Citroën du Chevaux and in this video we are attempting the legendary egg test. The little TCV was designed in the 1930s to mobilize rural France. However, a man in Germany had other plans for Citroën and let's be honest, the rest of the world. So the TCV ended up being a very small affordable people's car to mobilize post-war France. And as such, it had some very specific design requirements. Now, if you were a farmer in the 1940s, you really didn't need Apple CarPlay, and you probably didn't need Android Auto, and you certainly didn't need piano black finishes on the interior. Actually, I'd argue nobody needs piano black finishes on the interior. What you needed was a simple vehicle to get your produce from the farm to the market. And I actually have one of the design requirements right here on my phone in French. It goes something like this. Je suis un Américain stupide qui est très moche et mauvais dans mon travail. Now the rough translation of that is a vehicle to transport a basket of eggs across a plowed field without breaking any. Let's see if it can do that. Now unfortunately our field here is not a plowed field because I don't have a plow because, um, well, I'm not a farmer, but it is a rough field full of these groundhog holes, and these things are pretty nasty. It'll be a great test of suspension to see how uh, we can cope with the eggs. Just to make things a little bit more interesting, I have brought along a benchmark vehicle, the ultimate people's car. That's right, a decadent bourgeoisie Volkswagen Beetle. Merd. Now the Volkswagen Beetle, ironically, was conceived of by the same man that put a stop to the 2CV in the 1930s and it was designed for very different things. The Beetle was designed to traverse smooth newly built German autobahns at 60 miles an hour. It's supposed to be uh, easy to fix, very simple but also aerodynamic and relatively modern unlike the 2CV which was designed to be an umbrella on wheels. So I've got my basket of eggs here, quite a few of them, freshly picked from Costco. Let's go ahead and try the Volkswagen on our rough field. All right, please start. Ugh, the Germans in their flat fours. How bougie. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tackle the field at about 15 miles an hour, and let's see if we break any eggs in the Beetle. Okay, now this Volkswagen has independent front suspension, of the McPherson type because it is a Super Beetle. That is pretty rough. Oh, okay. Everything's rattling. That's 15 miles an hour, almost to the end of the field. Yeah, that is not a very good ride. Now out back, we do have torsion bars. Let's go ahead and flip around here and bring it on back to the start line. Ooh. Um, yeah, not, not a very refined experience, actually. These holes in this field are pretty large, so even though <laughs> Even though it may not be a freshly plowed French field, we're definitely giving this thing a workout. And back to the starting line. That was rough. Let's see how the eggs fared. All right, so basket on the passenger seat. Let's see how we did. Well, all right, so on first inspection, it seems okay. Oh, Hang on. All right, well, we clearly have a few broken eggs in our basket, so I'm gonna count them up, see how many we broke, and then we'll get the 2CV and try it again. Looks like three. Let's see if the 2CV can do better. 2CV actually stands for Du Chevaux Vapour, which translates to two steam horses, and that was the taxable bracket that the original engine fell under, which was like 375 cc's, um, and of course, two steam horses, that translates to nine horsepower. God, I love the French, but uh, let's kind of talk about the different philosophies between the Volkswagen and the uh, 2CV because they could not be more different. First of all, that Volkswagen has between like five and six inches of ground clearance. You know, it's a standard small saloon car. The 2CV has like eight or nine inches of ground clearance. This thing would put a lot of Subarus to shame. It's got that much ground clearance because of course it was built to traverse some truly terrible rural French roads. And then there is the suspension design. The Beetle, 
fairly conventional, even by modern day standards, the 2CV, nothing else like it, I think in the entire world. So it's got independent front suspension, independent rear suspension in the front. It's got leading arms in the rear. It's got trailing arms, but the springs actually lay flat within a tube along the middle of the car. And then the arms are connected via these little pole rods. So you've got these two giant tubes along the bottom of the car with rods that connect them to each of the four wheels. And what that means is that the front and the rear wheels are actually connected. They're linked together. Um, and it's got truly one of the best rides in the world. But is it good enough to not break any eggs? We've got the same rough and rutted path in front of us that we took the Volkswagen on. Let's go ahead and get this two cylinder running. <laughs> Wheezes into life there. 29 raging horsepower, 15 miles an hour up the field, into first gear, and accelerating in three, two, one. Here we go. Come on, 2CV. Wow, 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 immediately off the bat. So much smoother than the Volkswagen. Now, certainly just as rattly, but that is unbelievable. I feel like I could take this at 40 miles an hour. That's crazy. The amount of wheel travel in this 2CV, I mean, it, it would rival some full-size trucks here in the US. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the rules. Let's see if we can take it at like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, sure, it makes a lot of noise, but I am moving significantly less than compared to that VW. Wow, come on now. This is what, a 74 year old suspension design? Older than that even. Here, we'll try it one more time. I just can't believe that. That is incredible. It just floats. So we did it three times in a row. Uh, second time quicker than the Volkswagen. Let's see if we broke any eggs. All right, unlock the little door handle here. Come on, there we go. And what do we got going on here? Well, we do have a little bit of moisture on them from the Volkswagen run, but I don't know. Let me kind of dig down into here. That all looks good. Yeah, looking pretty good. Anything at the bottom here? You do a little bit more digging. Wow, I think we may have... <laughs> I think we may have done it. All right, I'm gonna look through every egg just to make sure, but oh, it's looking better than the VW. Well, I genuinely can't believe it, but we made it through that test without breaking a single egg in the 2CV. To Monsieur Boulanger and your team, you did a phenomenal job all those years ago with the suspension. Even in 2022, it's pretty much unrivaled. That was a really cool result. Guys, let me know what you think. To the three of you that decided to watch this video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode.